Hi, I'm Shobhna and today we are at the third edition of the DH Bengaluru 2040 Summit where we spark conversations around the future of our city. I have with me Harini Nagendra, an author, an ecologist and a true blue Bengalurian. Welcome to the summit Harini. Thank you so much for talking to us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. What according to you would be a good roadmap for the city to become urban resilient? So one of the biggest challenges we are going to face is what the UN calls a triple planetary crisis. That is crisis of pollution, of uh, climate change and of biodiversity collapse. And I think Bangalore is going to face all of these challenges. So when we have a roadmap for resilience, unfortunately we are talking about things like electricity and traffic and all of that is important, but we are not thinking of environmental resilience. And how does Bangalore deal with a situation where let's say all our green spaces are gone, where we have flooding and drought, where we have heat waves and cold waves. That is, I think, the biggest challenge that we need to plan for. How do you think uh, citizens of Bengaluru can uh, contribute towards making a change or contribute towards uh, making the city more robust in terms of uh, anticipating and uh, also preparing for potential challenges? There's a lot that we can do as citizens and as communities. I think to begin with, to engage in dialogues with the, with the government. So, so many citizen groups have got together to restore lakes in collaboration with the BBMP, the BDA. That's something that needs to continue. Similarly, citizens have taken a lot of a proactive stand in protecting trees from being felled across the city, right? Citizen movements. Similarly, I think they need to have equally a proactive stand in pushing the government to actually do aggressive tree plantation across the city. Because uh, while we're losing trees, we need to plant trees for the future. So I think there's a lot we can do in collaboration, solid waste management, recycling. These are areas where the government needs hands to be strengthened. So that kind of conversation needs to happen. Uh, how would the narrative of the Bangalore Detectives Club be if you were to give it a twist of Back to the Future with a vision for Bangalore 2040? I would say Kaveri's then big focus as the main detective of the Bangalore Detectives Club would be how to get communities together of various kinds, you know, the, from the grazers to the fishers to the people in resident welfare associations to the corporate groups to solve the crime that is being committed on Bangalore's ecology. So that would be the case. And how does Harini see uh, Bangalore in the future? I'm still very hopeful. I think we're one of the most environmentally conscious cities in India. I mean, that's clear in terms of you see citizen action on everything. And I think now corporate groups are also waking up to this challenge and the government is being very responsive. So I'm very hopeful. But I'm also aware that our window of action is closing very fast. I think if we don't do something in the next five years, the city is going to be doomed. And so that this five year action, I'm worried also that we're not taking action as fast as we should. And so. Thank you so much for your insights. It was wonderful talking to you. Likewise, it was a pleasure to be here.